So guys, in light of recent news about prop firms suspending people's accounts, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the cold, hard truth and reality about prop firms. Should we still be using them or should we be concerned? So it's going to be an interesting video. Stay tuned. I'm sure a lot of you will be aware, if, or if you're not, I've been documenting 0 to 100k Forex funding. And during that whole process, two of the accounts I was using, one with true Forex funds, a 50k account and a 25k account with funding pips, have both been suspended. So is it time to stop using prop firms and focus on the main account or should we still be using them? Are they still a good way to make money in the industry? So that's what we're going to be discussing. Before I answer that, I think the most important question is which who should be using prop firms, which traders, which type of people should be using prop firms? Because I see far too often on social media traders going for their 10th tryout to get a six figure funding, but they've only been trading two months. I think when I first started back in 2017, I started on a small 500 pound account and I wanted to learn the skill set on a small 500 pound account, make my mistakes on a small account, only risking one percent. So making five to 10 pound per trade, keeping that capital and learning the skill set, because I knew if I could make x amount of percent on 500 pounds and i have the skill set to consist and consistently do that i can then scale that up and scale up my capital and at the time when i first started prop firms weren't as prominent so there wasn't they weren't talked about as much there wasn't as they weren't as branded and marketed as well as what they are now so i was looking to either get investor capital or just work and put money into my own personal account and grow that but as time went on and it got um i was trading my own personal account learn to be consistent obviously prop firms have blown up and got bigger and you can see on social media people getting 10k payouts 5k payouts now do i think that's feasible i think it is you can if you've got the skill set the service prop firms are providing is access to capital they're giving people that have the skill set that can make consistent returns on a smaller amount of money that don't have access to a large amount of money they're solving that for people so is it a good way yes if you've got the skill set if you know what you're doing you've got consistent results you're experienced then yeah going for funding is always a good opportunity but should you be heavily reliant on solely your funding no, you need to prioritize your own personal accounts at this point as well. So what you see a lot of people do, which I'd recommend is any payouts that you get instead of keeping it in the prop firm or, you know, put a lot, a portion of that into your own personal account and grow your personal account too, because your personal account is going to be there if you manage your risk and you're in full control of that. But as we've seen with some of the prop firms, have just been shutting down accounts if you have four or five hundred k with them and you're making good money but they shut down your account it's not your capital so you have to be extremely cautious of of that you have to be extremely cautious but do i think prop firms are going to improve yes i think it's somewhat good obviously not for me and other traders and maybe you that have these accounts and at the minute are suspended and you're sort of waiting to see what's going to happen but I think that this means that everyone's has to every prop firm has to up their game. They have to be aware of solving and resolving these these problems so that the consumer doesn't get affected. And I think and I believe that prop firms will improve. And now, like I say, they'll have to up their game to not allow this to happen because they make money through us. And if we stop using them and we look for other ways to gain capital, then they're the ones going to lose out. So I think it's going to make it more competitive and it's going to make the industry probably better because people are the prop firms are gonna have to up their game my personal experience trading prop firms for the most part it's been fine except obviously now when you get a random email saying that they're, they're suspending the accounts they've come into unforeseen circumstances and that doesn't really help the consumer it doesn't really help us that are trading our accounts we paid to do the evaluation we should be getting the service and i know they can't always control everything but it's not just happened on one of my accounts, it's now happened on two of the accounts. If you've been watching my my funding, zero to 100K, you know, I've had to go back to reverting back to my trading my own personal account, which is why I think it's extremely important that you do have your own personal account. There's too many people that think getting funding is the main goal. And though it can be good and it can allow you access to a larger amount of capital, if you can make 5% on 500,000, it's obviously going to make a lot more money than 5% on 500 pounds. But to solely rely and think, right, I'm funded now, I've made it, I'm a good trader. No, the old school traders and people that have been around for a while know that prop firms are just one part of the game. They can help you amass a lot of capital. Yes. And that means you can, if you have the skill set, you can make good money on it. So they're a very good way to start you off once you've got the funding. But I think, like I said before, multiple times, it's so important that you put a lot of that money back into your own personal accounts and trade it trade it differently because a lot of what you'll see is there's a lot of youtubers online and there's a lot of traders online that will 
trade their personal accounts differently to their funded accounts. And that's because they see it, funded accounts as not their money. They see it as sort of fake money that they can get real money off. So if they make 5% on £500,000, they've got a refund. It's technically free, so they over risk. You know, when I get my funded accounts, I'm going to be doc I'll be documenting it still. I'll be trading similar. I don't just want to get a quick big payout and then blow the account. I want to consistently grow that account and consistently withdraw from that account. My goal isn't just to get one big payout, a 10K payout over risk and make 10, 20% and get a 20 grand payout and then be look, look how good trader I am. No, that's some of that's luck. You want to be there for the long term and consistently get payout so you can put it back into your personal account. I think that's the route you should take with prop firms. But as a whole, I've had good experience with them. I just it's more of a concern now that a lot of this is happening. But hopefully, like I said, it will be resolved because they're all going to have to up their game. So my plan moving forward with the prop firms is I'm not going to go heavily into one. I don't think at this current moment in time, it, this may change, but this current moment in time, I want to diversify. So if one, like get 50K with that company, 25K with that company, 50K with that company, 25K with that company, just so that if one goes completely bust, let's say I had 400K with one company and then they go bust or there's an issue, I've lost all my capital. If I have it spread out between different prop firms, that way it limits my risk. The chance of them all going down is very slim. So I think the plan is keep going with prop firms. Like I said, prioritizing my own personal account too. Keep documenting it on here. But being aware that this doesn't, this can happen to anybody and this can happen to anyone's account. So if you diversify, make sure that you have sep separate accounts, 50K with them, 50K with them, 50K with them. You've, you're limiting your risk. But overall, I would say that I'm happy with prop firms. I like the concept. I like the fact that if you're experienced, you can get access to capital. Will there be something else that comes around? I hear a lot of people talking about, I think it's called Darwin X, which is a, it can log your, track your data, and then investors can invest with your with you, depending on how good your results are over the long term. Will there be other things to replace prop firms? Potentially. But the current this current moment in time, hopefully, they up their game, they realise and resolve some of these issues and don't allow this to happen again. And we've just got to be aware that prop firms, if you get funding and you become a six figure funded trader with a prop firm, that it can end in, a, in an instant. So you've got to prioritise your own personal account. You've got to prioritise your own money and make sure that you are diversified. You go with different, different companies just in case one goes bust or there's an issue. But overall... I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, make sure you stay tuned uh, for the next video that comes out this week, documenting my whole process but of my funding. But yeah, hope you guys got value from this video. If you do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Help grow the channel. Help more traders and new traders out. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the support, and I'll see you in the next video.